when you look at QE, what is happening in the next years? So I think the, the ECB will, will enter the bond market as a buyer, a quite price unsensitive buyer, because they, they simply have to buy bonds no matter what the pricing is. So they will drive down the bond yield side, making property overall relatively more attractive, which will result in ever more capital targeting property. So overall, we will see more capital targeting property, which at the end, from a relative pricing effect, will also start to drive down property yields. And that will hold no matter which asset class you're looking at, might it be office, retail or resi. The only thing then, for, for coming back to the deflationary issue, I would say from an economist's point of view, you have very much to, to look at where is deflation coming from. It's simply the oil price decrease. Then it's a base effect that is out of the statistics about six, eight months from now on. So then we will see possibly what, what's happening back, back on, that, on that level. So if, if the oil price returns a little bit of what here, of, 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 to, to the historical levels of, let's say, 70, 80, $80 a barrel, so then, then you see inflation possibly turning the corner quite easily because I don't see any fundamental dis dangers of a deflationary wave across Europe. It's more like you have some structural issues going around. So deflation, I wouldn't say, is, is the big threat for Europe. It's more or less you have to live with low inflation, low interest rate environment going forward. And I think that will happen much longer than we all like to hear right now. ECB said at least till the end of 2016. So my point would be it will be much longer than that. And we will have to, let's say, readjust a lot of our pricing themes that work with the 10-year history. Because the 10-year history is more and more getting a moving target, it's going downwards. So if you do a 10-year history comparison this year, or four years from, from four years ago, or in four years' time, the levels of the 10-year average are much more different. So the 10-year the average is a guide to, to, to the decision where yield levels should be in the medium term. I think uh, it's quite a wrong target. You have more to look at relative pricing and, and your return requirements.